Hello and welcome. I'm Riversoft Art, and I'm here today to talk about an upcoming product. It's a collaboration between Half-Life and myself called Reflection Designer. I'm really excited to talk about this product. I think it's really cool. Reflection Designer allows you to take control of reflections in your scene. What you show, you know, uh, where you place the camera. It allows you to tell stories about your uh, images and by saying, you know, in reflections, what shows up. Uh, so, for example, in this image, we have this woman in a commuter train. And using reflection designer scripts, we easily move the camera so it shows the woman and her reflection in the, the window. And I think it makes a very powerful image I I using it this way. Here's another example. In this, we have Cyborg 8. And we've used Reflection Designer to place a lot of lights that reflect off of certain, you know, exactly, precisely placed to reflect off of areas on Cyborg 8 and into our camera. In this one, we've moved this uh, character uh, so her face shows in the mirror. And this is a great example of using reflecting Reflection Designer for more powerful images. We could have just had a camera directly show her face, and that's a nice image, but by using the mirror and placing our camera so that we see her face in the mirror, I think it makes a much more interesting image. Here's another example of moving a camera so that uh, this man's face is reflected off of the chrome skull. And here's another example. Um, reflections can help you tell a story about the environment around the uh, your primary image, your primary character, without having to actually make that entire scene or show it directly. So in this case, we're showing this woman, and you can tell she's scared, and there's something reflecting in her eyes. And it's this bright light, and you're like, oh my god, what is she scared of? Is it a dragon fire or is it an ex explosion we used reflection designer to precisely place a light so it reflected off her eyes and into our render camera to you know convey and hint at the environment around her and what she's scared of and this is a great example of using reflections to help tell the story of your images so how do you use reflection designer well first um, there's four icons in the product. There's a PDF manual that will, it will bring up the manual. There's a move camera script, which will move the camera so it will show a certain subject being reflected into the camera. Another one that doesn't move the camera but actually moves the object that's being reflected so it uh, you know will show properly as a reflection. And then Reflection Designer itself, which will create lights precisely placed to reflect into our camera and show them properly. So let's get started. Uh, this is just a very simple scene. There's a sphere. Uh, it's painted red, and it's using the uh, standard HDRI. Uh, it's painted with like a reflective red. And I'm going to turn off the eye ray. Uh, having eye ray on all the time interferes with the video capture, so I'm going to be turning it on and off throughout this video. So how do you use it? Well, we want to create a light that reflects off the sphere at a certain point and into our camera that we're at here. So we select our object. We use the tools geometry editor and you set it up so the selection type is polygon selection and then you select exactly which polygon you know is where we want our light reflecting off of and into our camera so i've set it up so we've uh, you know it's going to reflect off of this polygon and into our camera so we have the sphere we've selected it we've selected our polygon and we start the script <clears throat> along the top in the reflection light planes you get 
a ton of different presets for creating these uh, these lights from automotive overheads to convergence rings to fluorescence LED light, ring lights uh, some lines and tubes and showrooms standard umbrella lights uh, and some zebra stripes and I kind of skipped deliberately over these three which I find very interesting so these the light is going to be a the light and the image from a window so your reflection will be a window and you see what's outside so this helps us tell that story I, I keep talking about so you could have a window that's showing some trees through the window um, the street outside in the city etc also along the top you may have other lights shown if you have the other collaboration between Half-Life and myself called Lighting Designer, these will show up and you can use these just like any other of the lights that actually come with the product. So it's much more powerful if you combine them two together. So how do we use this? So we select, let's just select standard. You click it and it will automatically create the light at a certain um, position and at a certain distance from that polygon so it reflects into the camera. So I turn it on and you can see that is in fact what it does. Turn off the eye ray preview. You can use this slider to change the distance. Uh, you can also control the luminance, how much light is actually output by the um, light. Let's crank it up so you can see things a lot better. And let's turn on that eye ray preview. Very bright, maybe a little too bright there. <laughs> let's turn that down. And I need to turn on and off the eye ray preview so you can see that. Um, you can change the temperature of the light. This is exactly like in DAS Studio. It's defined in Kelvin. It uh, changes the appearance of the light. If you 6500 is neutral sunlight. If you go with values that are below 6500, you get a warmer, redder, oranger light, like so. And if you go with values above 6500, you get a colder, bluer light. You can also just change the color of the light itself. Um, right now it's been a white light and we can just say, no, I want a red one directly. All right, I want to set that back. I prefer the white light. You can also scale the light. We can make it very small or we can make it very huge whatever is best for you. Now the light is set up so it will exactly be facing that polygon we selected earlier. But if we turn off auto aim, we can actually rotate the polygon or the, the plane however we want, uh, if that is going to be what you want. So this case makes it skewed. Um, if we turn off that, we could, yeah, let's, wrong way, yeah, so you could, you know, change it exactly how you want. Um, I happen to like the auto aim, so I'll turn that back on. Finally, there's some, uh, camera controls. This is just controlling the camera that you're seeing the scene in. And this helps you just, you know, see where your light is placed within your scene. And these are non-destructive. After the dialogue finishes, it will snap back to the original view. You can also just hit the reset camera and it goes back to there. So let's create this light. It creates a reflection light pane in your scene. And now you can also change stuff. So 
Half-Life has done a fantastic job of adding these shaders, uh, a couple of shaders to these uh, different lights, and they're very powerful. They have different things. Like this one, if you noticed, was a two by two grid. Kind of looks like a window, but it's a grid of lights. Now using the surface properties, you could change that. So instead of number of rows being two, I want the number of rows being four and the number of columns being four. And there you go. So uh, I highly recommend checking out the surfaces tab because you can play and there's a lot more. You can do borders um, and with the other ones you can change uh, other properties. Uh, so that's the first one. Now for the other two scripts, the move camera and move reflection, we need some other object in the scene. I'm going to set this up and make this a scene where it's, uh, I'm going to bring in the glum gurgle character by Josh Crockett. So I'm going to make it kind of like this is some, I don't know, a pearl and look, glum gurgle sees it and is reaching for it, but it's all going to be shown through the reflection through the, uh, the sphere. So it takes a little bit to load on my system. There we go. I'm going to switch back to the perspective view just to show him. I want to pose him. So let's have him crouching down, looking at his, his precious, this, uh, uh, sphere just give him a nice little uh, crouching pose there so now what we want to do is we want to set it up go back to our camera to show a reflection off the sphere right where this polygon is with his hand reaching out towards it um, so what you need to do is you need to select the sphere and then select this hand. Uh, I'm going to switch to the universal tool so I can select quickly his hand. But so first you select the sphere, you've selected your polygon, then you use it, hold down the control key and you collect, uh, select the hand. And then you start, we'll do the first one, the move reflection. So this will move glum gurgle. So he's precisely placed to reflect off that sphere and into this camera. And immediately it uh, moves him off. If we just turn it on, you'll see he's not quite lined up. It doesn't, by default, it doesn't orient it. Um, but you have this sort of the same controls of the other one. Let's pull him in so he's closer. Um, and we're going to actually scale them. So this looks like, you know, uh, the pearl is smaller, if you will. So if we do that, you know, and it's going to reflect off that polygon. All right. Um, turn off the eye ray preview. Let's zoom out so we can kind of see our scene. Um, and if you look at them, He's not too bad, but you can also tweak his orientation. And it's all based upon the hand. Yeah, that's not terrible. Yeah, so let's reset the camera. So if we turn on the eye ray preview, There we go, and we have his hand reaching in. Now you'll notice he's kind of floating off, off the ground. So this is not for every scene. Um, it moves the object, so it reflects. Um, however, it can work a lot of times. If we go back to our images and that woman in the mirror, if you saw the actual scene. Her feet are floating off in space, but because this is zoomed in on this, her face in the mirror, it 
uh, it, it works easily. It, it works very well. But so that's this scene. Um, now, the other script is, is, in this case, it works better for us. We don't want to change the scene. We want to move the camera to show the reflection. So first, let's undo this. And I'm going to the perspective view. And I want to set up my scene so it's exactly how I want it. So let's move him around. Um, yeah, uh, you, know, you could turn him however you want. So you have him like, you know, we're, we've set up our scene exactly how we want. Uh, oh, and I, let's make him look. Well, I'll use my look at me scripts to look at the sphere. Bring up, look at that. There we go. So I've created the scene I want. So now what I want to do is move the camera so it shows his hands reflection um, in the scene. So you do the same thing as before. You first select your sphere. Then control, uh, you've selected the polygon, and then you control click the left hand. And then with the move camera script, you start it, and then move immediately move the camera so that hand will show off of that re polygon. And, uh, you have some options in here. You can move your uh, camera you know towards it or away uh, you can also tweak it slightly so the camera moves however if you do that you if you do it too much you're going to lose your reflection or the exact reflection you want um, but it may work <clears throat> how you want in this um, the auto aim always makes the camera point at that polygon if you turn it off, you can just kind of pan the camera back and forth to get exactly what you want. Um, there we go. I like the, whoops. There we go. Uh, I'm going to cancel out of this. You'll notice it's sort of like that polygon is hidden because, you know, this uses actual you know, light reflections. So if it's not set up that it can show it properly, that, you know, it, it, it won't necessarily work. We're going to move the polygon we have so we can show it a little bit better. So this is the one. So this would put the camera probably, you know, just like by his elbow almost. So if we select that. Yep, there we go and set up the IRA preview and you can see it. There you go. And we haven't moved Glum Gurgle, we've moved the camera. So that's a quick uh, tutorial on Reflection Designer. I'm really excited for you to get it. Um, I will be available in the forums to of course to answer questions and i believe half-life is going to be doing a lot of different tutorials thank you for watching uh, i hope you will enjoy it and have a great day